All right, please all rise as we open with scripture during this wonderful Sabbath day in the Passover, in, right in the beginning of the Passover festival. Here we are. So we'll be reading from Mishael, chapter 2, verse 6. Hashem grants wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Father God, we pray that each we pray that each and everyone here calls upon you and, and seeks your wisdom and seeks your understanding that they may have lives that are meaningful, beneficial. Heal them, guide them, and guard them, Father God. We pray this in Yeshua's name, and the people of God say, Amen. 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 Then the sign of man will appear in the sky. All the tribes of the land will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the cloud of heaven with tremendous power and glory. He will send out his angels with a great show power, and they will gather together his chosen people from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. And we can find this in Matthew 24, 30, 31. Baruch atah Adonai, Elohim Asher kirishano me dis motat de sibanu, lishmo a kol shofar. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commands us to hear the call of the shofar. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are 
Um, we are going to do the song of Miriam. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
song she sang with praise and mind. We've just lived through a miracle. We're gonna dance tonight. Women dancing with their singles. Follow Miriam as she sang her song. Sing a song to the one who is exalted. Miriam and the women dancing.
There's none like our God, there's none like our Lord, there's none like our King, there's none like our Savior. Who is like our God, who is like our Lord, who is like our King, and who is like our Savior? Let us thank our God, let us thank our Lord, let us thank our King, let us thank our Savior. Blessed be our God, blessed be our Lord, blessed be our King, blessed be our Savior. For you are our God, you are our Lord, you are our King, and you are our Savior. You are the one before one of the fathers offered the spice offering. Amen. If we can all face east towards Yerushalayim and cover our eyes in humility to Hashem as we recite the Shema. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echai, Baruch Shem Kevoi, Malchuto, Leolam Faye, Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elochecha, Ve'cho levavka of kon avshecha ve'cho meodecha, וחיו הדברים העלה אשר אנו כי מצבך חיום על לבביך. ושינתם לבניך ודיברת בם ושיצק בביתק ובתק ותדק ובשוקבק ובקומך. וקשרתם לאות על ידיך וחיו לתותפות בעין עיניך. וכתבתם על מזוזות בתק ובאיש עריך. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom for all eternity. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your might. And these words that I command you today shall be in your heart. And you shall teach them diligently to your children, and you shall speak of them when you sit at home, and when you walk along the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. And you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be for frontless between your eyes. And you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The entire Torah and prophets hang on these two commandments. Amen. Please join me for the Elenu. Elenu l'shbeah le'adon hakol la'ted kedola.
It is our duty to praise the master of all, to ascribe greatness to the author of creation. For he made us in like the nations of the land, and has not placed us like the families of the earth. He has not made our portion like theirs, and our, and our lot like our, all their multitudes. And we bend in knee and bow, and acknowledge our thanks before the King of our kings, the Holy One. The Holy One, blessed be he. He stretches out heaven and establishes earth foundation. And in the sea of his glory is in the heavens above, and the presence of his power is in the most exalted heights. He is our God, there is none other, true is our King. There is nothing besides him as it, as it is written in his Torah. And you shall know this day and take it to heart that the Lord, he is God, in the heavens above and on the earth below, and there is none other, and it is said, The Lord shall be King over all the world, on that day the Lord will be one and his name one. Amen. Please join me for the Adon Olam. Adon Olam, Asher Malak, Beterem Koyet Zinibra, Benasa, Behev Zofo, Azai Melek, Shemo Nidra, Beachare, Hikor Haku, Leba, Master of the universe, who reigned before any form was created, when creation came about by his will, then as king was his name proclaimed to be, and after all has ceased to be, he alone will reign in awesomeness, and he was, and he is, and shall be, eternally in splendor. And he is first, and there is no second to compare to him. To be his equal without beginning and without end, his is the power and dominion. And he is my God, my living redeemer, and the rock of my pain in times of trouble. And he is my banner and a refuge for me, the portion of my cup in the day I call upon him. In his hands I entrust my spirit, in the time I sleep or am awake. And with my spirit, my body, the Lord is with me. I shall not fear. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Most you rejoice in the gift of this portion that you called him a faithful servant, a crown of splendor you placed on his head when he stood before you on Mount Sinai. He brought down two stone tablets in his hand on which is inscribed the observance of Shabbat. So it is written in your Torah. Hello. Hi. Uh, you're going to sing the Veshamru, one of my favorite songs. Uh, so when you do the Veshamru, it's a... Uh, talking about how we're going to keep the Shabbat. Uh, so we kind of get a little excited about it. So what we do is stomp or clap. And that's what me and my boys do when we do it on our own at Shabbat home. Okay. So anyways, without further ado. Veshamu v'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat 
לעשות את השבת לדור תמברית עולם. ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת לעשות את השבת לדור תמברית עולם. בני ובין, בני ישראל, בני ישראל, אותי היא לעולם. ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת, לעשות את השבת לדור תמברית עולם. כי ששת ימים עשה אדוני, עשה אדוני את השמיים ואת הארץ. ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת, לעשות את השבת לדור תמברית עולם. ויום השפיעי שבת ויהי נפש, שבת ויהי נפש, שבת ויהי נפש. ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת, לעשות את השבת לדור תמברית עולם. ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת, לעשות את השבת לדור תמברית עולם. The children of Israel shall keep the Shabbat, observing it throughout their generations as an everlasting covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. Velo netato. You did not give it, O Lord, our God, to the nations of the lands, nor did you make it the inheritance, our king, of the worshippers of graven idols. For to Israel, your people, you have given it in love to the seed of Yaakov, whom you have chosen. The people that sanctified the seventh, they will all be satisfied and delighted from your goodness. And the seventh, you have found favor in it and sanctified it. Most coveted of days, you called it, a remembrance of the act of creation, our God, and the God of our fathers, may you be pleased with our rest. Sanctify us with your commandments and grant us our share in your Torah. Satisfy us from your goodness and gladden us with your salvation and purify our hearts to serve you sincerely. Our Lord, our God, you with love and favor grant us your holy Shabbat as a heritage and may Israel, the sanctifiers of your name, rest on it. Blessed are you, O Lord, who sanctifies the Shabbat. Amen. Amen. Now for the Torah service, um, we will thank you for showing respect for the Torah. Face the scroll during the procession, stand for the reading of the Torah, and participate during the service. Do we, uh, do we roll the Torah around? Uh, yes. Okay. And you may reach out to the, touch the Torah cover during the procession. Ta'amod, Yudiela Batsara la Torah. Come forward, Yudiela, daughter of Sarah, to the Torah. There is none like you, O Lord, among the gods that are worshipped, and there are no deeds like yours. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures through all generations. Source of mercy, let your goodness be a blessing to Zion. Let Jerusalem be rebuilt. In you alone do we trust, O Sovereign God, high and exalted, Lord of all the worlds. And it came to pass, whenever the ark went forth, Moshe would say, 
Rise up, Lord, and scatter your enemies, and may those who hate you run from you. Torah will go forth out of Zion, and the Lord's word from Jerusalem. Blessed is he who in his holiness gave Torah to his people, Israel. Vayahi ben Suaharon, Vayomer Moshe, Kuma Adonai, Veafutsu Oivecha, Veanusu Masanecha, Mipanecha, Ki Metzion Torah. Ki metzion tetze Torah udevar Adonai miyarushalayim baruch shenatan Torah Torah baruch shenatan Torah Torah Leamo Yisrael Bikdushato Baruch et Adonai Baruch et Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Baruch Abano Mikho Hayamim Venatan Lano et Torato Bless the Lord, the Blessed One Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has chosen us from all people and given us his Torah. Blessed are you, O Lord, Lord. This week's Parsha is Chol HaMoed Pesach from Shemot 33.12 through 34.26. And we will be reading the whole portion. Uh, for the first verse we will be reading in the Hebrew. Vayomer Moshe El Adonai 
Reye ata omer elai ha al et haam hatse ve ata lo hodatani et asher tishlach imi ve ata amarta yida techa ve shame ve gam met sarta chain be eni. Amen. And what was written, I mean, what was read in the Hebrew is, So Moses said to Adonai, You say to me, bring up this people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found grace in my eyes. And uh, I will continue with the uh, English reading. <clears throat> now then I pray, if I have found grace in your eyes, show me your way so that I may know you, so that I may find favor in your sight. Consider also that this nation is your people. My presence will go with you and I will give you rest, he answered. But then he said to him, if your presence does not go with me, don't let us go from here. For how would it be known that I or your people have found favor in your sight? Isn't it because you go with us? That distinguishes us from all people on the face of the earth. Adonai said to Moshe, I will also do what you have said, for you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Then he said, please show me your glory. So he said, I will cause all my goodness to pass before you and call out the name of Adonai before you. I will be gracious toward whom I will be gracious, and I will show mercy on whom I will be merciful. But he also said, you cannot see my face, for no man could see my face and live. Then Adonai said, see a place near me. You will stand on the rock while my glory passes by. I will put you in a cleft of the rock and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take away my hand and you will see my back, but my face will not be seen. Adonai said to Moshe, carve for yourself two tablets of stone like the first ones, and I will write upon them the words that were on the first tablets which you broke. Be ready by the morning. Come up to Mount Sinai and present yourself to me there on the top of the mountain. No one is to come up with you and do not let anyone be seen throughout the entire mountain. Even the flocks and herds must not graze in front of that mountain. So he carved two stone tablets of stone like the first. Then Moshe rose up early in the morning, went up onto Mount Sinai as Adonai had commanded him, and took in his hand the two tablets of stone. Then Adonai descended in the cloud, stood with him there as he called on the name of Adonai. Then Adonai passed before him and proclaimed, Adonai, Adonai, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness and truth, showing mercy to a thousand generations, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, yet by no means leaving the guilty unpunished, but bringing the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children, to the third and fourth generations. Then Moshe quickly bowed his head down to the earth and worshiped. He said, if now I have found grace in your eyes, my Lord, let my Lord please go within our midst. Even though this is a stiff necked people, pardon our iniquity and our sin and take us for your own inheritance. Then he said, I am cutting a covenant before all your people I will do wonders such as have not been done in all the earth or in any nation. All the people you are among will see the work of Adonai. For what I am going to do will, with you will be awesome. Obey what I am commanded you today. Behold, I am going to drive out the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and Jebusites before you. Watch yourself and make no covenant with the inhabitants of the land where you are going, or they will become a snare among you. Instead, you must break down their altars, smash their pillars, and cut down their Asherah poles. For you are to bow down to no other god, because Adonai is a jealous god for his name. He is a jealous god. See that you do not make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land. Otherwise, they will prostitute themselves with, you will prostitute themselves with their gods and sacrifice their gods. Someone will invite you, and you will eat their sacrifice. Do not take their daughters for your sons. Do not take their daughters for your sons, for their daughters will prostitute, them, prostitute themselves. 
with their own gods and cause your sons to prostitute themselves with their gods. You are not to make for yourselves metal gods. You are to keep the feast of matzot. For seven days you are to eat matzot, as I commanded you, at the appointed time in the month of Aviv. For in the month Aviv you came from Egypt. Every firstborn of the womb is mine, and from all your cattle you are to sacrifice the males. The firstborn of the ox and sheep, a firstborn donkey, you are to redeem with a lamb. But if you do not redeem it, then you are to break its neck. You must redeem all your firstborn sons. No one should appear before me empty-handed. For in six days you will work, but on the seventh day you will rest. During the plowing time and harvest you must rest. You are to observe the feast of Shavuot, which is the first fruits of the wheat harvest, as well as the feast of ingathering at the turn of the year. Three times during the year, all your males are to appear before Elohim, Adonai Elohim, God of Israel. For I am going to cast out nations before you. Then enlarge your territory, so no one will covet your land when you go up to appear before Adonai your God three times a year. You are not to offer the blood of, this, of my sacrifice with hametz, nor should the sacrifice of the Passover festival remain until morning. You are to bring the choicest first fruits of your land to the house of Adonai. You must not boil a kid in its mother's milk. Amen. Uh, in this week's Parsha, we see a beautiful moment between Hashem and Moshe. We see that Moshe is aware of his humanity and weakness as he pleads with Hashem and that his heart's desire is to truly just know him. As Hashem speaks to him, he says something specific that stood out to me. Moreover, I show favor to whomever I will, and I display mercy to whomever I will. In this walk, there will be times when a brother or sister who continues to go around the mountains in their lives will continue to receive the love, mercy, and favor of Hashem and you won't understand why. In our eyes, we believe this person may not deserve these things from Hashem, but be careful with this mentality. This person may have mistreated you or offended you. Nevertheless, Hashem will show mercy on who he shows mercy and favor on whom he shows favor. And believing this person deserves something else other than what Hashem is allowing them begins to set a standard by which only you, not them, will be held by. Why you expect from that, what you expect from that person and what you expect that person to receive will be yours because now you are the one who is manifesting that judgment, not Hashem. In these circumstances, it's important to trust that Hashem knows what he's doing. Hashem has seen this person in their lowest moments. Hashem may see the sickness they battle, the thoughts they battle, the things they went through as a child. So in this, Hashem will have mercy on whom he has mercy and favor on whom he has favor. Thank you. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu Torah temet, vechaye olam nata betocheinu. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who has given us a Torah of truth and has planted eternal life in our midst. Blessed are you, Lord, who has given us a Torah of truth. Amen. As we lift the Torah for all to see what was proclaimed, we point to the scroll with our little finger. This demonstrates that we are little in the presence of Hashem, and his word is what we submit to. Vezot HaTorah Asher sam Moshe lifne bene Israel al pi Adonai be'ar Moshe. And this is the Torah that Moshe placed before the children of Israel at the command of the Lord through Moshe's hand. Amen. You may be seated. Baruch <laughs> 
Abraham, Hanemarim, Vemel, Baruchata, Adonai, Aboher Batora, Ubi Moshe, Abdo, Ubi Israel, Amo, Ubi Ndie Haemet, Vatsedek. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who selected good prophets and was pleased with their words, which were spoken truthfully. Blessed are you, O Lord, who chose the Torah, your servant Moshe, your people Israel, and prophets of truth and righteousness. Today's reading is Ezekiel 37, 1 to 14. The hand of Adonai was upon me. The Ruach Adonai carried me out and set me down in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones. He led me all around them. Behold, there were very many on the floor of the valley. Behold, they were very dry. Then he said to me, son of man, can these bones live? I answered, Adonai Elohim, you know. Prophesy over these bones, he said to me. Said to them, dry bones, hear the word of Adonai. Thus said Adonai Elohim to these bones. Behold, I will cause Ruach to enter you, so you will live. I will attach tendons to you, bring flesh on you, and cover you with skin. Then I will put breath in you. You will live. You will know that I am Adonai. So I prophesied just as I was commanded. As I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, an earthquake. Then the bones came together, bone its, to its bone. I saw, and behold, there were tendons on them. Flesh came up, and skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the Ruach. Prophesy, son of man. And I said to the Ruach, Thus says Adonai Elohim, Come from the four winds, Ruach, breathe upon them, upon this slain, that they may live. So I prophesied just as he commanded me. The Ruach came into them, and they lived. They stood upon their feet, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they said, our bones are dried up. Our hope is lost. We are cut off by ourselves. Therefore prophesy and said to them, Thus says Adonai Elohim, Behold, I will open your graves. I will bring you up on, out of your graves. graves. My people, I will bring you back to the land of Israel. You will know that I am Adonai. When I have opened your graves and brought you up out of your graves, my people, I will put my Ruach in you, and you will live. I will place you in your own land. Then you will know that I, Adonai, have spoken, and that I have done it. It is a declaration of Adonai. Amen. 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 Baruch atah Adonai, Elohenu melech haolam, Sur koholamin, Sadik behohadorot, Hail Haneman, how merry you say, Hamedaber Bekayehem, she called the Barab Emet Vatsede, Neeman, Atahu Adonai Elohenu, Benehemanim de Bareja, Bedahare Harmi de Bareja, Ahor lo Yashuv Rekam, Kiel Melek Neeman, the Rahamanata, Baruchata Adonai. Hail Haneman, behold the Barak. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, Rock of all eternities, faithful in all generations, the trustworthy God who says and does, who speaks and makes it come to pass, all of whose words are true and righteous. Faithful are you, O Lord our God, and faithful are your words, for not one word of yours is turned back unfulfilled. For you are faithful and compassionate God and King. Blessed are Lord, our God, the King, the God who is faithful in all His words. Amen. Amen.
Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher natan lana moshiach Yeshua Vehadibrot shel hadrit chadasha Baruch atah Adonai Noten habrich chadasha Amen Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has given us Messiah Yeshua and the commandments of the renewed covenant. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the renewed covenant. Today's reading is John chapter 13, verse 1 through 17. This chapter is about modeling servanthood. Now it was just before the feast of Passover, Yeshua knew that his hour had come to depart from this world to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them until the end. While the Seder meal was happening, the devil had already put in his heart of Judah of, from Kriot that he should hand over Yeshua. Yeshua knew that his that the Father had given all things to his hands, and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he gets up from the meal and lays aside his outer garment, and taking the towel, he wrapped it around his waist. Then he pours water into a basin. He began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them with the towel wrapped around him. Then he who comes to Simon Peter who says to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Yeshua responded, You don't know what I'm doing now, but you will understand after these things. Peter said to him, You shall never wash my feet. Yeshua answered to him, If I don't wash you, you have no part with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but also my hands and my head. <laughs> Yeshua said to him, He who has bathed has no need to wash, except the feet. He is completely clean. And you all are clean, though not every one. He knew who was betraying him for this reason. He said, Not all of you are clean. So after he had washed their feet and put his robe back on and reclined again, he said to them, Do you understand what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and you rightly and rightly you say, for I am. So if I, your master and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash each other's feet. I have given you an example you should do for each other what I have done for you. Amen. Amen and amen. I tell you, a servant isn't greater than his master, and the one who is sent isn't greater than one who sent him. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. Amen. Now it's about modeling the servanthood. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lano hadeva haimet, vechaye olam nata betuchenu. Baruch atah Adonai, noten habri hachadasha. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who has given us the word of truth and has planted life everlasting in our midst. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the renewed covenant. Amen. Please rise up for the Etz Chaim as we return to Torah. Etz Chaim ki lama chasem kimba betom hecha meushar Shalom. Hash.
Shivenu Adonai Elecha Venashuva Kadesh Kadesh Yameinu Kadesh Yameinu Kekedem A tree of life to those who take hold of her, and all who support her are praiseworthy. Its ways are ways of pleasantness, and all its paths are peace. Return us, O Lord, to you, and we shall return. Renew our days as of old. May he who blessed our forefathers, Abraham, Yitzhak, Yaakov, bless those who come to honor God and the Torah. May the Holy One send blessings upon them, and upon their families, and upon all the works of their hands. Amen. May our eyes behold your return to Zion in compassion. Blessed are you, O Lord, who restores his presence to Zion. Sim Shalom. Grant peace, goodness, and blessing, grace, kindness, and mercy to us and all your people, Yisrael. Bless us, our Father, all of us together, through the light of your presence, truly through the light of your presence. Adonai, our God, you gave us a Torah of life, love and kindness, love of kindness, justice and blessing, mercy, life, and peace. May you see fit to bless your people, Yisrael at all times, at every hour, with your peace, Shabbat Shuvah. Inscribe us for life, blessing, peace, and prosperity, remembering all your people, Yisrael, for life and peace. Blessed are you, Adonai, source of peace. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable before you, Adonai, my rock and my redeemer. Shabbat Shalom! Shabbat Shalom! Well, Hugs and milk, everybody. Piss off.
Let's continue in our worship of Hashem. So before uh, our, everybody gets mobilized and such, we like to welcome our precious sister Crystal up here. She prays for the tithes and offerings. We know that she asks heaven to move just so this event happens. All right, so we thank you, Hashem, for all that you do today, and we welcome Sister up here. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for who you are. You are slow to anger. And Father, we come humbly before you to ask for your forgiveness in this land, Lord. Forgive us, Lord, if we have put in any graven idol before you, before your holy name. Lord, we ask for your mercy upon the children, for they do not know what they participate in, Lord God. But Father, we ask that these children will not bear the iniquity of their fathers. Father, I ask and I pray that each and every person under the sound of my voice would have an ear to hear the word that will be going forward. I pray that their hearts will turn to you, Lord God, and that when you seek out an intercessor, that they would be found to intercede on those in this land. We ask for your mercy, Lord, in Yeshua's name. Amen. 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 watching online uh, you can give your portion by going to the, the link the link placed in the comment section below that being said we will go ahead and get right into the service or the the lesson for the day <coughs> yes oh, that's pretty that was quick. Whoever was back there that said that, that was quick. I didn't even... Uh, the Yeladim class, uh, young folks under 17, please go with Sister Malka, and she goes to uh, give you all this week's lesson. Okay? <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm going to, today's message is slightly abbreviated, okay? Um, I think I used some of my time last night, so here we are today. Easy, sir. All right. So, let's get right into the word, amen? Shabbos Pesach 2023, here we are, you and me, collectively. Have there been trials and tests throughout this past season? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I mean, if any of you are curious, try picking up confetti from the side of a highway. It is a, a thing. It's a thing. It, it is a thing. You'd be surprised how, how far and wide papers can be spread when they're hit at the right speed and angle. It's an amazing process. So, yes. But each of these tests and trials, they're only designed, ideally, to increase your capacity. Amen? Amen. We all say that we want the big things. We want the heavy responsibilities. We want the amazing miracles and such, right? They come with tests that we need to go through to be able to endure those amazing moments, those miraculous miracles, and all these other things, right? You have to be able to endure it. Could you still shine after God sends a miracle through you and remain untainted by the before and afters of the event? You have to be able to endure it. Amen? Amen. 
So continuing a little bit last night, freedom was the subject matter. And so we'll talk just briefly on that again. Freedom is something that if that is defended, whether we're talking about secularly or spiritually, freedom must be defended and maintained, amen? We're talking about secularly. Each country has its own version of patriots who stand up for the rights and, and, and beliefs of other people because they themselves have their own rights and beliefs that they don't want violated. That's simple to understand, isn't it? You all want us to respect your rights, your choices. Respect ours to follow our God and King. Amen? Amen. And expect that we will not be silent about it. Nor will we hide our faith or pretend that we are not faithful. But rather we will show our faith at every given occasion. Just as Pesach itself is an example of being freed from carnal bondage. On the other end of it, 2,000 years after it happened, we were also given freedom from the debt that we owe, sin and death. So just as the debt that we own, that we owe for our own paganism. And somebody will say, how do I owe a debt to paganism? Okay. Does anybody have a guess how you would have a debt to paganism? Every altar requires sacrifice. Every altar requires sacrifice. Every time we submit our will, every time we go along with, every time we endeavor in, we are committing paganism, right? If we're not including God in those, those little scenarios, those moments in our family, in our friends, in our lives, in our business, and so on, then we are, in essence, disregarding over half of the equation, right? Let's see, in our marriage, I dare say God is first, and we're maybe like third, maybe. We're right about there, third, right? You say, well, we'll come second, family, right? Second, usually it's family. So I don't know if that's your, the equation for you and your family, but I would suggest most certainly for you to make God the top portion the, the shareholder, the CEO of your life and your family. So many patriots and many faithful over the years have laid down their lives for the freedoms that you and I now appreciate and endure and share and enjoy. But their efforts lead us here and now to this time. And here we are. So now the, the, the burden is placed upon us to defend, to stand up for, to declare the truths of God, to stand up for the freedoms of others and ourselves. So this is your time and season to take up and defend the freedom and the very thing that gives us true freedom is his holy word. That's the only thing that gives you real freedom. Amen? Amen. But you have to defend it. God calls for us to be his partners in the covenant. Well, let me say it differently. When you enter into a relationship with somebody, you're entering into a covenant with somebody, that is a relationship. That means there's two of you in there, right? It's not just you, 
It's not just a Scott show or just a Lisa show or just an Anna show. But the covenant has one other party who's rarely mentioned or even considered. Who knows who else is involved in this covenant besides yourself? Who's in, who's in the covenant? Hashem. Hashem, right? But yet, when do we consider him? When? When's it? Let me ask it a different way. When's the last time during a Sabbath you said Shabbat Shalom, Hashem? <laughs> that honestly, that may sound silly to you, but I, I, he's said, here. I said good job, Hashem. Oh, there you go. All right. Um, all right. Out, aside from the Ashkenaz, okay. When do we consider him? Honestly, all that he does for us every moment of every day. And yet, when do we give him consideration? I dare say, you sisters, if us fellas never considered y'all, we might not ever be with y'all. Ever. If we didn't give y'all any consideration, forget it. That would be game over. It's the same with our father and king, or brothers. If the wives and women in your life never gave you any consideration, how happy would you be to participate in everything? Not very happy, right? You'd be super energetic. Yeah, let's go do it. All right, I'm excited. No, but we give each other the same consideration as Yeshua said in the Besora portion today. Give them the same consideration and love that I have given you, right? It's the same thing. We give God the consideration because He is King. How ignorant are we walking around without considering Him? But let me continue on. The responsibilities of freedom are great and demanding. They require perspective and inner discipline. There is one practice that we do every single week without fail that helps to build the discipline. And it helps to build the inner, the perspective that you may have. What is that? What is it? We meet every week. What is it called? It's a special thing. Y'all are completely unengaged today, huh? Y'all must be still reeling off all the matzah last night. <laughs> Some of y'all are still floating on matzah today. Oh, it's a mayor. Okay. Did they make it too strong? Nope. It was Anna with the horosis. Oh! It was the salt. It was the salt water. Ah, oh, the salt. <laughs> so, what is it that brings about perspective and discipline in your life that you practice every week already? Can you guess what it is? Huh? Shabbat. Yes. The very simple observance, right? We come together, we praise Hashem, we read through His scriptures, we, we heal, we, we pray for healing, we pray for increase, we pray, we pray, we pray. And we praise Him, right? But this practice of just regularly committing to it leads to more discipline in other areas of your life. That leads to more order, more structure, more freedom in your life. So these this thing's gonna be fun today. These items are gifts that the Sabbath bestows upon you. For they shape the ideas and goals of freedom for all those who partake of the holy nature of this moment in time our endeavor to reach out and embrace his purpose, his things. And as we go through his moedim, his appointed times, it brings our lives into better focus and structure. We, we remove from some of the paganistic practices because we're, we're honing in to what he has ordained for us to do what he has set into order. 
And through His order, our lives come into order. Amen? Amen. All right. Change gears just a little bit, because I, I really wanted to make this brief today. Uh, okay, that's yourself, sir. So, just as uh, some information, why do we drink, drink four cups during the Seder? Who knows this one? There's all kinds of wonderful quizzes about the Seder. Stuff that we have to study diligently. Uh, who knows why there's four cups? It's literally from only one verse. Who knows why? Ah, uh -huh. Okay, somebody look up Exodus chapter 6. And we'll read verse 6 and 7. Okay, so the, the four cups correspond to the four sentences that are there that God is saying over us. Who has them? Are there four sentences right there? Or is my book different? Whoever has them, please go ahead and read. Anybody? Is Exodus 6? Or yep. 6 or 7? Yes, ma'am. Therefore say to the people of Israel, I am Adonai. I will free you from the forced labor of the Egyptians, rescue you from their oppression, and redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great judgment. How, how many is that? How many things did he say he'll do for you right there? Redeem you, rescue Four. you. Four. Right? Rescue you, redeem you, heal you. This is our God. All, all the time. Has he stopped doing that since back then? No, he's only carried it on. Because everything he's done then, he will do today. All the promises he made then are still promises for today. Amen? Amen. And finally, just one last thought. And because we purpose to ask the girls to sing the song of Miriam, I wanted to end on a note of one of the other sisters. Because just like those four cops correspond with those two verses and the four things that God promises you in those verses, they also correspond to four of the matriarchs who aren't regularly mentioned. And the very last uh, cup, the very, very last cup, it corresponds to Leah. And what a beautiful sister she is. And Leah, upon the birth of her son Yehuda, said, at this time I shall thank Hashem so the question is, wait a minute, wait a minute. She already had three other sons. Why didn't she thank Hashem for either of those? <coughs> so the rabbis write that because Leah felt she had more than her share of the portion, right? They already knew Abraham was going to have 12 sons. That's how it's going to be, right? I'm sorry. That Israel was going to have four sons. But Leah at this point had three Four, she already has over her percent for the women that were involved, right? So because she felt she had more than the others as far as portion, she named him Yehuda to thank God. The answer, it goes as this. Leah realized that Yaakov was to have 12 children between his wives. When she had the fourth son, she realized that she was given one more than any of the others. And to that, this was the base for the nation of Israel. So she was thankful for each child. But with Yehuda, Leah knew that she had received something truly special, above and beyond what she should get. Therefore, she thanked Hashem when Yehuda was born. And after we finish thanking Hashem for taking us out of Egypt, we think and we consider Sister Leah. And why is this important versus anybody else? What did Leah do that the other ones didn't do when they left with Jacob? 
Who knows what she didn't do? That's probably the more important thing of it. What didn't Leia do when she left her father's house? What didn't she do? Her sister did the thing. She did not do it. She didn't follow after other gods. She didn't follow after other gods. She didn't take with them an idol, right? But she chose to follow Hashem. This is why we continue. And even more so, why her son, Judah, when we identify the children of Israel, what do we call them? Jews. Jews. Children of? Judah, who, who they're, they're, they had their, their, their wherewithal instilled in them by their mother, Leah. Amen? Amen. The beauty of Leah is that she trusted God, even though she wasn't chosen by her husband that she desired. She trusted God, even though she had setback after set, test after trial. She trusted God. And at the end, you see, it's her son who is given the namesake of the nation. It's her sons who lead us. So learn from Leah. Learn from the other sisters. Be a blessing even when life isn't so cheery. Look out for each other. And as I said last night, don't, don't share gossip or, or that other nonsense but be good that you may have good. With that being said, good Shabbos, Shabbat Shalom, and Hak Sameah to you all. Blessings. Should we do it in the tradition of rest? Hey, uh, you, you only get one of those, sir. Uh, don't, <laughs> <laughs> it's my holiday. I can eat it if I want to. All right. That was, that's, I didn't even like this song in its regular form. It's in case you're not paying attention. You there? Attention, attention. Okay. Uh, please all rise as we do the final blessings. Uh, those of you watching know this is not um, hala. If, it's, if you're not sure what this is here. What is that? For this watching. is matzah. We eat it during the week of Pesach, as we are commanded to eat nothing with yeast or leaven. Okay. All right, so I raise up. All right. And then the tradition that Cantor Raphael had started, just completely comical. Baruch Atadonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Matalechem in Haaretz. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the grain from the earth. Amen. I can have one Tell you what. <laughs> it's funny, when you first start, you're not sure you're going to like these, and then you kind of begin to develop a, a taste for it, right? They were reading the last scripture.
Lacey, can you, here, you share one of these? You and your friends, I'll get a little piece of it, okay? Go ahead. Summary. All right, and the blessing for the Jews. Oh, thank you. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Prihah. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord of God, King of the universe, who brings forth the fruit from the trees. In the name of Yeshua, Messiah, Amen. All right, uh, young folks, all you guys gather under a tallit over there, okay? A what? A what? Tallit. What is that? Oh, a tree. Steve, you have yours? Oh, a tree. Thank you. I'll grab my, I'll grab from the car real quick. You're not going to drink. Hey. Yeah, Uncle Steve's going to grab it real quick. Raffi, Raffi. Yeah, he's, he, he is a lot like the cancer, though, I'll tell you. Very inquisitive. And, and young folks, watch where you step, please. There you go, guys. All right. Yisimcha Elohim ka'ephraim v'chei Manasa. May God make you like Ephraim and Manasa. Yisim Elohim Kasara, Rivka, Rachel, and Balea. May God make you like Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. All right, I do need one, uh, Michael, Michael, come up here. All right. Come here, you're going to help me and Uncle Steve, okay? Here, right here. Okay, so Steve and I, we're going to say the Hebrew, and then we need to read the English, okay? If you want to pick one of your brothers, they can read the other two for you, okay? Me and my brother, we do it that way. Gabe, Gabe, get up here. All right, so here's how it's going to go. You, the oldest, you're going to read, all right, from the Lord to you, okay? And be gracious to you. You're going to read these three lines, okay? You, these two lines are going to You finish with these, you finish with you, okay? You finish with you, okay? Got it? Time coming up? All right, let's go, guys. Hold each other that way. Right? When you're, right? 
Bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift you up his countenance, countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. All right, with that being said, I believe we have a few brief announcements. Yes, yes, no. This Monday, this Monday, this Monday, this Monday, get it while you can. We will be yet again going downtown to partner with our downtown partners to feed the homeless. Church under the bridge. So, so if you are, um, are signed up for that or feel moved, join us there at Church Under the Bridge, and we will be there to feed the homeless some shawarma. How about that? They will also be having a Passover meal. So uh, if... You want to help out with that? Get with Rabitzin Bloom, and she will help you. Like if we have a thousand other Rabitzins here, but they're coming. They're coming. I promise. Um, but like, anyway. So, and then we have uh, Shavuot, and we have Lagbel Mayor. Then Shavuot coming up right around the corner. So prep yourselves. We are still out there looking at places and property and such, and still moving on that end. With that being said. Have a beautiful, safe, and uh, praise-filled the rest of your Pesach time. Be blessed and be mindful. With that being said, good Shabbos, Haksamea, Pesach, and blessings to you.